once again read the verses. Verses 8 and 9 says, But do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that we, uh, the Lord one day is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness, but his patience towards you, that no one, I mean, not wishing that anyone should perish, but all should reach repentance. <laughs> So what can we learn about God next? God is faithful, right? He's in, in, in verse the 9, he says, the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise. Uh, uh, and he gives his promise. That means that we can have a pie, because there were some false teachers, you know, discouraging the believers that Lord is not going to come back anymore. So if we read the preceding verses, we will find how the you know false teachers were discouraging the believers. So, for Peter is saying, no, don't listen to them. What the Lord has said, he will do it. If the Lord says that he will come back, he will come back. Because he keeps his promise. We, the human being, fail. But God never fails. We say one thing, sometimes we forget to fulfill the, the, the things that we promised. But, but in case of God, He is faithful. What He has promised, it will come to fulfill. So Peter is uh, encouraging his believers, don't be discouraged, brothers. Someday the Lord is going to come back. Because that is what He has promised. And He will fulfill it. So, second thing we found about God from the text is that God is faithful. And we have so what more we can learn about God from the text? Can you say something about that? What can you learn more about that? You also examine. This is how we have to do the Bible study. Say, feel free to say brothers. We are all family members. Don't be afraid of saying anything, okay? We are not here to judge someone, nothing like that. We are here to learn together and then help one another. So what can you learn? Can you say something about God? Just say, God is faithful. Just say, what can you learn about God? Just say, what can you learn about God? What can you learn about God from the text? What can you learn about God from the text? What can you learn about God from the text? What can you learn about God from the text? God is patient, isn't it? God is patient, but God is patient, but God is patient, but God is patient, God is present, if, if that is what it says, right? But He is present toward you. Yeah. He is present toward you, right? 
তোমাদের উপর আমাদের উপর সো উই লার্ন থার্ড থিং দ্যাট গড ইজ পেশেন্ট আমরা তৃতীয়তে আমরা দেখতে পারি গড এর এটা মানে মর্টাল বা শব্দ and let's see what more we can learn about god ar aro ki bujhte pari kena amra amra aro verse 9 last part it says but all should reach repentance ar ekhane boshe jate sob mane paap theke mukto hote pare mane paap theke phire jete pare that means god is love shikar korte pare tar mane ishor er sathe he doesn't want us to be lost am he chai na je amra phire jabo he wants everyone to know ভালোবাসি আসে there are millions of people are perishing every day and the heart of god is broken seeing those people going towards hell and god has given us the opportunity to repent and come back to him so Those are the things that we learn about God. Now, what we can learn about man? Hmm? From the same passages, what can we learn about God? Man. Yeah, I mean about man. Let's see verse 9, last part, right? Man is sinful. Uh, That's why we should repent. I am a simple man. We are all simple people. And that's why we need repentance. So man is simple. Next lesson we can learn is man, man needs repentance. We all need the to repent from our sins and come back to the Lord. And if you have not repented from, uh, from, from, from your sins, or if you have not repented that Jesus is your Lord, the opportunity is for you today. unless a person repents that and accepts Jesus Christ he or she is going to be lost forever I'm glad to see all of you that you love the Lord and I'm so encouraged to see you today my parents are still Hindu I have, a, I have one younger brother he is still Hindu and I'm sure that if they don't repent and accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior they are going to be perished forever Whenever I see them, my heart is broken. I know that without repentance, if they die, they will be lost forever in hell. I have been praying for them for nine years. Until today, they haven't repented from their 
they have been repented. Jesus is their Lord. Take life so seriously. And if you have repented and accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, pray the Lord. And I want you to know one thing that repentance is not only for non believers. It is for believers too. Many times we fall into sin. See, not, not reading the Bible. Many times we don't read the Bible, right? That is also a sin, do you know that? See, not, not attending uh, like fellowship. See, no, not uh, able to love our fellow brothers. There are many areas where we fall into sins. And we should prepare from those simple, you know, uh, like activities. So God wants us kind of life. We are all young people. I understand what it means to be a young man. How it is difficult to live a holy life. But God understands our weakness. If we come back to him, say, Father, I am sorry, he is willing to forgive us. So, we are simple people. We need repentance every day. So, that's what we have learned about man from the text. So next, what we can learn is there like is is there anything the text talks about? Of course, the text doesn't talk about any specific sin. So if the text doesn't talk about the sin, you don't need to worry for that, right? We have learned so many good principles from only two verses. About God, God is omnipotent. About God, He is faithful. He is patient. He is love. And about man we have learned, we are simple people. And we need repentance. Is there, is there any good example that we can learn from the text? Hmm? Let's read verse 8. But do not overlook this one fact, beloved. That with the Lord one day is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. Bondu gon ekta jinis bolbe na je, mane niche pura suto the dekhiyo na je. Ishore songe ishore saate ek din hoylo ek hazar boshor ek hazar boshor hoylo ek din hoylo. What example we can learn from the text? Hamra ekhane ki udhamor peyeshi karte? We can learn a good example from the life of Peter. Hamra Peter er zibon hamra. That is, that is his compassionate heart. About love. He, he, he addresses his leaders as beloved. You know, Peter was the one you know, who was writing this letter to his readers. He is now uh, looking himself as a tender shepherd. 